The stock market in Uganda is still uh, a very young market. It's not very developed. We don't have many companies on the stock market to trade in. So I forgive many Ugandans who are not on the market because there's only so much room to play. I think there are eight Ugandan companies and maybe another 10 that are listed in Kenya that have chosen to cross-list in Uganda. You look at two sides of a coin. Why does a company go to the stock market? Because you want to borrow money cheaply. Instead of going to a bank, you go to the stock market, tell them your story, and you can raise money from them, maybe at 5%. Most people, I could call them gullible, will buy your shares because they want to buy your shares, hoping that your price will go up, or the dividend you give will be more than what the bank will give if they buy, if they put the money in a fixed deposit. But on average, most companies will give you between 5 and 10%, because the, the yield is, is, is a parallel market to what the borrowing rates are. Now, some companies do exceptionally well. They made their forecast and they're going to give you 10%, but they do much better. You share on the upside. The price will go up. People perceive the company to be going to do better in the future. That drives the price up, so you do well on that. And also, the, if they have a good dividend policy, 50% or more, then you invest there. Some companies tell you, we're not going to give any dividend, but we're going to focus on growth, which means the, the, the share price will keep going up because they are reinvesting all the money. Then the share price should be reflected. And that's why you invest. So if you don't want a dividend, you invest in those companies that don't have a dividend policy. If you need some dividend and you want some growth, you invest in those companies that give a bit of both. I won't say which companies I, I, I look into or I'm involved in, but we try to see that the customer gets some dividend. That's why many companies go for a 50% dividend policy, and then they reinvest the other 50% so that they can have capital growth. So that if you buy shares worth 100 million shillings today, in a year or two years, the shares are worth 200 million. That is capital growth. And then did you get any dividend? Yes, I got 20 million shillings in dividend over the two years. Every year I got 10 million. That's a dividend, 5% of the, of the, or 10% of the, of the investment that you made in capital. So this is how people should look at the market.